Sandbatch 10k today. Why don't you follow along? Okay, I'm going to jog in through town down to the rugby club. You could park at the rugby club, but why not visit Sandbach at the same time? It's a beautiful place. So uh, you could park at the Brookhouse Road Car Park, which is down near Waitrose. You'd come out there and then jog in. You get a warm up if you jog into the rugby club and a cool down at the end, plus the potential visit to Weatherspoons for a well-earned drink afterwards. Anyway, so you head down here and take a left into Offley Road and then there's a footpath that brings you out at the Rugby Club. I really hope today's video inspires you to uh, come and run Sandbach 10k. Thinking about it, 10k is a good distance really. If you're new to running or don't run very often, 6.2 miles is a good challenge. For those of you who run more regularly, Putting a 10k in your diary makes sense. You, uh, it makes you do tempo and interval training to work on your threshold pace. And come race day, there's nothing quite like a race to make you dig hard and hold that threshold pace, which you wouldn't normally do in training because it hurts. But there's a great feeling of achievement when you get to the end and you know you've given it your all, whatever that is for you. I'll put a map of the route up on my website, so go check it out. If you're new, welcome. Please consider clicking subscribe. There are new routes every week. And if you enjoy today's video, please do give it a like because that helps more people find it. And uh, yeah, if you want to get early access to content, go check out Patreon. Hi, it's Simon Donnelly. Hello. Hello. Simon. This is Donnelly. Simon. Like... AKA The Run Adventurer. <laughs> Hundreds of people will watch. I watch you. Thank you. Little box lane. We've got a little out and back there. Over the motorway. About 15 minutes to go now, excitement starting to build, everyone's just warming up. Oh, good stuff.
I swore I was going to go off slow and then speed up and what have I done? Every time I've I set off at my bloody 5k pace not my 10k pace oh, no. Never mind Tell yourself you're at 5k it's fine yeah, yeah. Got to save a little bit in the bank to jog to Weatherspoons at the end you see <laughs> Got to, Not too far, it's priorities. Yeah. Rather than running laps at the rugby club at the end this year, they've added this there and back, which I really liked because you could uh, wave to people. I don't normally take a drink on a 10k, but it's really quite hot today. I've latched onto this Congleton Harrier and I'm just going to follow her 
and try and maintain this pace. <coughs> We're supposed to drink it, not breathe it. I'm following you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Come on, ladies first.
Jordan Simon scores in the South African table. Well done. Oh, tough, went tough off a bit fast. Yeah, it's tough in the heat. It was, uh, yeah, I, I swore to myself I was going to run the first two miles slow and then speed up, you know, be an emotional vampire, yeah. steal everyone else's energy. But no, I set off at my 5k pace, as always. I'll never learn. Oh, oh Congleton and Harriers. I was with that lady on the left all the way. She was running my pace. Bless her. Yeah, there's always somebody that's... Uh, you do, you just uh, you finally just end up at, with someone running your own pace, don't you? Yeah, yeah, there was a woman from the style running club who was, I was overtaking her. Oh, All right, what yep. was it then, 42? 43.07. Bloody brilliant. Yeah, that's really good. Hard at the end. Yeah. Ooh. Weather's boots. Weather's boots. <laughs> See you later, mate. <laughs> right, my round today. Is it? I thought it was my round. Um, I think it's mine. Is it? Oh, I, I'm not. I, I won't argue I with you. I will go the round.